What's up, YouTube? We are gonna make another delicious meal. I have to keep reminding myself to look at the camera. I keep looking at myself and it's very distracting. Tomorrow is the first day of fall and the mornings here in Dana Point have been a little bit crisp and uh, the evenings a bit cooler and I love chili. This recipe is super easy to make. Uh, very minimal ingredients, but very tasty. Um, super easy, I got my crock pot, and yeah, let's whip it up. So here are all the ingredients, and I will go ahead and list them below so, um, you know, you don't have to jot it down. But we've got some chilies, some spices, some tomato paste, garlic, uh, ground beef, cumin, some vegetables. I usually like to do like two of these big guys, but for now I just got some like leftover bell peppers that'll do for now. Um, it's kind of like a secret sauce. Um, pickled jalapenos, celery is kind of weird, but super good. And yeah, that's what we got. And I also wanted to give you the lowdown on some grass fed grass finished beef. Um, some people don't really know what that means or um, are unaware of it. So basically, the beef that I like to use, I really don't get conventional meat anymore now that I know what I know. It's, um, it's really bad for you, it's really bad for the animals, really bad for the environment. Um, I won't go too much into detail about it, but I will write a blog post about it on my blog so you can read. I don't wanna lecture anybody because I know I can hear my mom just talking in the back like, I can't remember all that stuff. So um, this is grass-fed, grass-finished beef. I did get it from Whole Foods this time. Like I said, I do like to order it from Thrive. They have like a nice big um, box of like chicken and beef and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I'm also a, a partner with them, so I'll put the link below. If you use it, you get 20% off your first order and then a free membership. So it's pretty cool stuff. And um, so yeah, so the grass-finished is what you want. Some labels will say grass-fed and grass finished or it'll just say grass fed and that's it. So the difference is if it's grass finished, it means it was started on a grass diet and finished on a grass diet. So usually that means they're pasture raised. They live a happy, happy cow life. So that's what we want. Um, you know, all the nutrients from, from the grass is really good for them. And um, which is good for us. Cause you know, when you eat food, you put it in your mouth, enzymes start breaking it up, goes into your digestive tract, and all the minerals and proteins and vitamins are, are taken from it and literally become you. They, they grow your cells, your skin, your nails, everything. So you are what you eat, truly. And anyway, so a grass finished means that it started on grass and finished on grass. A grass fed uh, cattle or cow um, was started on grass and finished on grain or soy or wheat. Uh, we know that's not good. It fattens them up. It makes them very sick. Um, in turn, they pump antibiotics in those cows, um, which is not good for us. It's not good for them. They live a miserable life. Um, and they're kept in really small, confined um, spaces. So, um... Try to get grass fed, I'm sorry, try to get grass finished beef. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's an investment in your health. Um, I for one would like to eat better, spend a little bit more money up front, then go to a doctor and get sick with cancer or diabetes or whatever it is. So just think of it as investment in your health because it truly, truly is. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prep up some of these vegetables. But they are going kind of made it. Um, so, always use your veggies. If they're about to turn, it's perfect for soups and stews and food. cry like a little baby but uh wasn't too bad maybe I spoke too soon <laughs> Now that I've um, chopped up all the veggies, they're in the crock pot. I'm gonna turn it on high. Um, I've just got this like really cheapy 
um, crock pot. It's truly nothing special. I've had it for years um, until I get my Instapot. That's all to do. So all the veggies are in there. Um, garlic, I like to cheat and use this Kirkland already cut because garlic is such a pain in the ass. It says five cloves, so I kind of just guesstimate. Again, I'm going to link or add all like the in ingredients and method I've had to put everything together down below. Um, I also have a blog, like I mentioned, it's carissamarie.com, and that's where I put all of my recipes and some other like healthy uh, nutritional information. There we go. I think the vinegar and pickled jalapenos gives it such a delicious, unique flavor. Try it and you will find out. A canned tomato, some chilies. I love this shit. Those are cumin. Really good for taco seasoning. It's a Porsche shatter. Now this one is like, I feel like the traditional one that everybody probably grew up with. I looked at the ingredients before or after I bought it and there's some sugar in there, which I don't usually use. So maybe I'll just do like half of the amount, which is, I'll just put one. And I usually choose items that don't have sugar in them because I know that causes inflammation and the more sugar you have, the more sugar you crave. But um, I am human and that's what I have. My boyfriend is not a very spicy eater, so I might go a little light on the cayenne. So I'm just gonna kind of block some of this excess fat out of there. I mean, no one likes a super greasy meal, right? And then let that cook for a good bit. Put it on high for, I would say, about four to five hours. Um, chili's always better when it sits like a little bit longer, so. It seems like a little thick right now, but like the juices and the water and the vegetables, like in the celery especially, will break down and it'll be more, um, or be less thick. You can also add like a little bit of water if you prefer. Three hours later, and my apartment smells so good. So you can see it got like a lot more watery. I didn't put any water in it. Uh, but it's definitely not as thick as it first was, so that's good. I mean, you could probably eat it right now. Guys, that's a wrap on my chili. It's kind of like a keto-inspired, no bean chili. So go home and make it tonight and let me know what you think. It's super easy, super good. Um, big fan fave. So let me know. Also, I've linked my website down below so you can learn more about the whole grass-fed, grass-finished situation. There's some links, so it's pretty informative. And then also down below are the instructions and all the ingredients for this chili to make it super simple for you. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I will love you forever. And let me know if there's another recipe you'd like to see. All right, I'll see you next week.